What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, the plans have changed up quite a bit. We were supposed to go to Horse League Mile today. I actually had a bunch of friends come out to support me because it was gonna be my first time driving that track. I was super nervous because it's a really difficult and challenging track and it's kind of dangerous, um, but there was a mix up of scheduling on Willow Springs End and it turns out that there's motorcycles on Horse League Mile today. So we won't be going there, but we do have something kind of exciting in store for us today. I'm at Balcony, my usual home track, but I've never driven Balcony with this tune on the car yet. So I want to warm up by trying the original top drift layout with my car. And then I want to try the new Pro-Am line, which is literally coming from the first corner, straight beelining it to the wall, riding the wall, going around the box, all the things. It'll be a great time. My friend Micah Diaz actually told me that he's on his way up here. So I'm definitely not gonna be able to chicken out. It's gonna be uh, an interesting day, but I'm excited. It's good. Change is good. Don't be a chicken. <laughs> serious leaks or anything besides the power steering. I mean, I have an exhaust leak. It felt slow even when I was going down the straightaway. It feels like the car doesn't even have a tune on it. I don't know why I keep running into these freaking problems. What's that, man? Already having problems? Yeah, already having problems, dude. What happened to it? I think I have a boost leak because it's just, dude, I'm like clutch kicking to go around the box in second gear. Okay, find it. This, but what's this? Uh, is this cover like stitched on? Or no, on? it's just sat it's just over, it. over top of it. Yeah, I just noticed the other day that it's like all eaten up and stuff. I don't think it's been like that very much. Yeah, see that? See that brown? That blacking right there? Yeah. See how it's getting black, like carbon buildup? That yeah. Means there's an exhaust leak. So you don't have any tools at all? I hardly brought any, dude. I have like literally like my impact. I just expected to be changing my wheels today, and I was like, oh, everything's fine. Yeah, look, your your gasket from your turbo to your oh, manifold shit, is blown right? That's your that's where your leaks at. That's where you're not getting any boost. So you need a, a, a turbo to manifold gasket. So you could actually probably just call and look up a gasket for a Supra. Mm -hmm. Turbo manifold gasket for a Supra. Go on AutoZone, find the part number first. Then you just call and give them the number instead of trying to explain it. Up, like what year is this? Is this uh, uh, like 94? So look up like 94 Toyota Supra. There's a lot of heat, a lot of crap going on right there. Potentially like exhaust backfires, and yeah, explosions. And can we use like stuff. gasket maker from AutoZone if we can't find a gasket just no, for today? Gasket makers for like coolant stuff. I mean, they might make a gasket maker for exhaust stuff. I've never used it. Uh -huh. But I know like the orange gasket stuff that I've ever used was for coolant stuff, which if you're using gasket maker, you're cutting a corner. Well, I know that Nissan doesn't like make, they don't use a lot of gaskets. I know this isn't Nissan, but I know that Nissan doesn't use a lot of gaskets. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't be afraid to use gasket maker. Why don't you use your Instagram? Post on IG and see if anybody out here by Willow has a T4. Uh, you you got to use all Genius. your resources. Genius. I'm telling you, like... People call them like followers and fans and stuff, dude. They're literally your support team. There it is. Not yet. We'll see. I appreciate it. Aaron coming through. Bree didn't bring any tools. Drive a 50 Aaron. plus year old car. I always have tools. It even comes with a judgment stick. All you need to know oh, is that behold. there's tools. Good thing he's got the right stuff. Permatex. <laughs> <laughs> I invite my friends for support. Okay, operating physically. range up to 450 degrees to 500. It's not gonna work. Three eighths. 
Probably an extension, 3 8 extension. Under there. This is like pro. Oh, I need that bigger one. This is like pro am training right now. There's more stuff. Feels in there. like pro am training right now. Gosh, I feel like I'm like under the clock. Stuff. You gotta get that mad torque on whatever you want. <laughs> you can put all the things. Your it's got everything in here. So just leave that right. on. Leave that on. Leave that on. This is pretty loose. So you should be able to just take that one off and move that whole thing and let it sit up here. Yours, man. I was done. I'm tired of wrenching. I wanted to come and drive. You're good. You're good. All right. Sure. He forgot his sleeves at home, so we got some. This thing's pretty legit. I'm just as nervous as I was when I thought I was going to horse thief. God. Is that one nice and loose? It's fine. Let me see. It's not loose enough. I can move this whole thing. No. I did not want to touch any tools today. I tried not to bring any to the track. I was like, it's gonna be a good day. I'm just gonna take off my wheels. Never works like that. I'll I take know. this one off. <laughs> He's like sensei. Not working on your car. I know. And I don't even know about cars, but I know this. <laughs> She's right. It's taught her well. That's my wife. She knows what's up. <laughs> just from doing this for from so long. From watching me work on my from car all the time. Hey babe, I'm gonna be in the garage for the rest of the day. Be careful, Bruce. It'll be done in 30 minutes, five hours later. <laughs> That's what I tell Dave. I'm like, it's gonna be like a two hour day. Uh, is there any faster way to do this? Yeah. What's that? Do LS. it right the first time. Oh, you mean at LS? Yeah. Or at LS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you wouldn't have to do this at all. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's a little easier when it's not yes. freaking burning your hand off. Sure. Okay, so I need to take the strut bar off now. The what? The strut bar, so we can take the whole thing off. No. Come up, no? no. All right, bet. I'll leave it. No, Bree. No. No. That's what you should have told me when I said I was gonna Jay Z swap my car. <laughs> wow. Well, so we have pick, another pick gasket out, out on its way. Okay. Uh, oh, oh Steve's back. back. One gasket. Did you find it? Six one seven one seven. Hey, yeah. I still gotta get this up. Oh, is it right? I, 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 I think it's fine. I think it's gonna be fine. Right. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna make it work. I don't yes. care. I see Next four thing. holes and one big one. Blueberry save Good the job, day. Good job, Steve. <laughs> save the day. Thank you. I like how you just roll on my. Dad, oh. you're a freaking champ. Oh, He's sore. He's like so up. So he was supposed to come and drive with me today, but... Oh, okay. Hey! Okay. How's it going? Yeah. Still pretty beat up? Yeah. Yep, still pretty beat up. You want a hand? What's going on with your car now? My turbo gasket's blown and we can't get one for my car. So now my whole car is taken apart and I'm kind of just wanting to push it on the trailer the way it is because all this shit needs to be redone anyway. Honestly, the wiring is like super melted by the turbo. The wire is something in between the exhaust side of the turbo and the cold side of the turbo. It's going to get melted. There's like half my stuff's not heat wrapped and I'm just like... Oh wait, well look, take some tires out of my car first and then go drive a couple laps. And then I'll look at this while you do that. You'll be the first one to test the motor, so if you blow it up, it'll be your car. Sick! <laughs> Hi. This isn't your car. Dad saved the day. As always. Let me tell you guys something. You, know, you guys know how many problems I run into and stuff, and I'm always track side trying to fix my car tools do not cut it if you're gonna have a car that's swapped just have double of everything because something as small as a gasket that's literally a little bit thicker than a piece of paper can ruin your entire day so they still not ruined i'm gonna do like two three laps just to feel better so i can actually focus back on that you're gonna kill it girl i hope so
What's up, girl? Feeling a little better? Look at you. All up in the tire smoke now. I can like... That's like fresh air, huh? That tire smoke? My face is like no longer consistent RBF. It's great. I feel really good. My dad's fan huh? is blowing the fuse every five seconds. Yeah, I don't know but I honestly, I just felt like I needed like three or four laps. And my dad was like, do five. And I was like, I'm not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So, yeah, it feels really good, though. It doesn't look like the race car is going to get fixed today. Unfortunately, uh, the turbo gasket, which are the downpipe, is completely shattered. Um, and honestly, I don't want to even put the car back together. Like, I could put the car back together right now drive it up on the trailer but honestly what's the point you know I mean like there's a couple things in the engine bay that I'm not a huge fan of as you guys know I was learning a lot when I did the swap and now I'm just more educated and I don't like a lot of little things I'd rather leave the car completely torn apart the way that it is right now just close the hood put the parts in the trunk of the truck push the car up on the trailer and then push it straight into the garage so that I can take off all the things that I want to take off and really clean that engine bay up um, and then uh, I'll be ready next time. <laughs> That's the deal. I mean, like, we can't find the gasket today, so what's the point of putting everything back together when I'm just gonna have to take it back apart again? Can't do anything without a gasket, so hopefully I can uh, get some help pushing it up on the trailer. I'm honestly just gonna run through this car um, and just kind of build it the way that I really want it built. Now that I know what I'm doing and I have a lot more experience and I know what I want wear and just I am have been hands-on with this car enough on the track at this point that I know that it's very difficult to work on and everything takes twice as much time as it should so I want to simplify it um let me know if you guys want to see that or not I mean if you guys don't want to see it and you're tired of the garage wrenching videos let me know and I can just you know do that come back out and act like nothing ever happened but if you do want to see it we can start a whole nother series are you down new series yeah. stoked might be a new series Let's anyway Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. If you haven't already, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next YouTube video where we'll be driving something, I hope. Maybe a new E46 BMW. Did you film me driving the E46? New comp car? Was it? Did you film me driving I'm it? I'm just saying. Are like, we using it? Yeah, I mean. That's did you guys see how good I was driving that E46? <laughs> Man, oh my gosh. Honestly, the first time I ever drove that E46, I was like, this is the freaking chassis that I should have built in the first place. The thing, I'm so comfortable in that car and I'm not even as comfortable as I could be because my dad doesn't have a bucket seat and I can't reach the pedals. And I'm already driving it the way that I'm driving it. Gotta build one. Would I be like abandoning the Z's? No. It's still a disease. You have three of them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.